Alright my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and this is going to be my longest yet um, Forza Motorsport video. So, this video is kind of dedicated to the fact that um, Digital Foundry and the Hooved Friends and our Hooved Friends seem to think that Gran Turismo is a better looking game than um, Forza Motorsport. Um, I am playing on the PC version, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, I could, I, even, I can even show you this on the Xbox version, but I, I just, I like that, that higher frame rate and the higher quality amount of visuals that I can get on this, so we're gonna check this out, and we are starting in the early morning so that you can see the actual time of day changes and the, uh, the overall just extreme like i've like to this day not one race has been the same on this game like i've tried to recreate some stuff for videos after like an amazing race and and it's and it's always just it's so freaking like look at this dude he's like running into me and stuff at first at first i kind of i kind of hated that i was like dude these this ai is so annoying but you know what the funny thing is is they actually do feel more human um, they, they feel it, it feels a lot better to race against these guys than it does the uh, the good old-fashioned freaking AI on on most other racing games I think turn 10 did an amazing job on this I mean it's just taking us some time to get used to it and stuff but I mean you can already see the absolute like look at this guy right here man you can't even stay on it look, look at that look how like you're you're never gonna find that type of an experience on Grand that on Gran Turismo. That game just feels so sterile, so sterile. Very very sterile. And like when you're pushing the visuals on this game, man. Gosh, whew, it really does affect. So we got ten laps for this race. Uh, we're gonna hit this one for ten laps. Um, that'll give you a really good experience when it comes to like the uh, the changing you know sun and all of that stuff you know like the oh yeah dude this game is just absolutely incredible um, I am playing with a controller so my uh, my driving might not be as smooth as normal but but I mean it's still pr fairly smooth Never know when these guys are gonna hit their brakes because they're scared. <laughs> Alright, McLaren, let me just get by, buddy. I mean on GT7, they stop for you and everything. They're all polite and kind. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no no real danger in that. Buddy, you're Austin Martin, bro. <coughs> Forget the coughing and stuff, man. I'm still, still coming down from COVID. I'm feeling a lot better today. If you're worried about me. Oh, I should have been wider for that turn. I mean, look how much freaking detail is in through here. And I was playing the same track on uh, on, on Gran Turismo. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna put that footage in here, that 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 I recorded. Man, I had like a rainstorm going on, and it just looks so freaking. Yeah, not not anywhere as good as this. If I put rain, if I put rain on this one, dude, it absolutely destroys Gran Turismo. Like, don't get me wrong, man. Like, I hate having to like, I hate having to be negative, um, or or call Gran Turismo out. But yeah, dude, I, I have to. I've I've had issues with that game since it launched. I was disappointed that it was just a PS4 game that looks like a, that, that's made to look shiny for PS5. This one here is built from the ground up, and you can tell. You can tell that this one's built from the ground up. Ain't no freaking two, 2D billboard trees. It's got better trackside detail. It's got more of it. I mean, the only the only advantage. The Gran Turismo has over this, over the Xbox version, is the fact that that like the, the visuals are so stripped down 
on the trackside detail that they can push a 4K and make it look sharp. And Polyphony, they are wizards at making the uh, the overall vi vi visual um, experience look really, really good due to the way they, uh, they, they map their colors and everything. Where Forza, this looks natural. This looks absolutely natural. It doesn't look fake like GT7 does. GT7 looks super fake, if you ask me. It looks like a video game, man, and, and that's fine, like, whatever. But if you guys want to try to say that that looks better than, than this, you don't even know what you're talking about, man. Digital Foundry clearly takes money from PlayStation. Clearly. Clearly has a freaking deal that they take payment from PlayStation. I don't know why they don't have to uh, announce that they're taking money from them, but I guarantee they are, man. Just like they're taking money from NVIDIA. They're not what you would call... I don't... Yeah, I, I used to like Digital Foundry. I used to watch them. I still like them as people. Like, don't get me wrong. I still like John and Alex and all of them. I still like them as people. But I get, I get that they're just doing what they are paid to do. Obviously, PlayStation and NVIDIA are a lot more sought after. And they are the more popular brand. So yeah, it's easier to discount the uh, the AMDs and the Xboxes to prop PlayStation and NVIDIA up. When I have both AMD and freaking NVIDIA, I have Xbox and PlayStation. I'm a massive racing fan. I've been doing this since, since Gran Turismo 1. Gran Turismo 1 was my first real experience with the uh, sim racing. Yeah, dude, I've been playing every single Gran Turismo and every Forza, Sega GT, all of these racing games for a very, very long time. And uh, I can tell you, this is absolutely the best looking sim racer that I have ever laid my eyes on. And if Digital Foundry can't find a way to come to that, that's clearly because, dude, Xbox has even got, I, I've seen a... I've seen one of those uh, BMWs in here with the PlayStation branding on it in this game. In this game. Xbox has nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Like, look how freaking realistic this game looks. You you, you put this side by side with Gran Turismo, man, and Gran Turismo does not hold up. Sad face. I'm sorry that it doesn't hold up, man. Like, that's not me being mean. I mean, yeah, there are some clear visual blemishes that could easily look better on this but dang man for the amount of detail packed in this game yeah i mean could it look a little sharper of course of course but i think this looks absolutely incredible with the right set of uh i mean and see the, the funny thing is is you might be like oh that's not fair to run the uh pc version you know you, you you can't you can't compare it yeah i can it's it's xbox xbox day and date on pc man you're not stuck to a plastic box and if that's playstation's only offering is the playstation 5 yeah dude this is more than fair easily i get the best experience from xbox whether i buy it on my xbox or i buy it on a pc i get an incredible experience you see that transition from from morning to to early morning now like gosh just how good this is this is looking oh dang man I saw some sparks right there look at how look at the side of that building man so much detail in there like the paint and everything looks so nice and gray and crispy on Gran Turismo it just looks like this light freaking colored gray I can't see that dude on the side of me yep he's gonna hit me of course why wouldn't you I like to hit that I like to hit that hairpin um, wide to to like right close to that i feel like that gives me the absolute best trajectory to get out from there i love that it's so satisfying to hit that when you're on a wheel setup i mean look at this trees look at this look at this side over here on the left see all that going on over there you got plenty of freaking vegetation you got all the spectators all these little flags lined in the freaking the roadway the fence line Got all these cones right here. I mean, GT7 right over here on this turn does have those little cone, cones right there on that turn, but yeah, you don't need them. I would like that touch on here, but dude, there's already so much more on here. That... 
Man, I wasn't, I wasn't in a low enough gear for that. See if I can catch up to some of these guys. My gosh, man, just look at how dense this overall trackside detail is on this. The way the physics feel on here, way better than GT7, man. So, I mean, to say that a game looks better when it doesn't, that, that to me is just nonsense. I like, I like how not one race has felt the same yet. <coughs> Ooh, man, so look at that. That grass wanted to throw me off. Kinda did throw me off and put me in a different spot. I love how I can adjust my field of view so I can see those corners and judge them better through that side window. I love how incredible the interior looks on this game. It wasn't slowed down enough for that. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. Coming down this freaking way. Oh, gosh, look at all that beautiful detail. Turismo for sure. <laughs> oh, the Corvette dude's trying to get out of my way. Nice. Doesn't happen often, but. Obviously, the performance is still a little bit shaky on PC. You see me dropping down to the 40s and stuff. So, I mean, obviously, Turn 10's got some stuff to fix, but Gran Turismo 7 wasn't perfect when it first launched either. It took a long time for them to get that game up and uh, up and going. And, yeah, I gave Gran Turismo 7 uh, a pretty high score when it came out. I think it's incredible with VR. VR is the reason why they. I feel like they cut back on the visuals. If they didn't do the VR thing, then I think that the, I think the Polyphony would have would have done better with the visuals. So I would like to see when they do Gran Turismo 8 or whatever they're going to do if they're even going to do that. Um, they still haven't even. Got a little bit cloudy this morning, but you see how see how nice the transition is for the I should see the cars like bouncing around and stuff man. Oz a beanie, I am a beanie. Don't run into me, dude. Why don't you run into me? Okay, good job. Good. Very proud of you, buddy. Very, very, very proud. I thought for sure he was going to hit me that time. Not for sure. 
very interesting. Look at that sun effect, man. When that sun comes up over the hill and blinds you. Gosh, dude, you don't get that Gran Turismo. Oh. I mean, you can set, like, the, the time of days and stuff on Gran Turismo as well, but it just doesn't feel this good. No baked lighting, no baked shadows. Everything is done freaking global GI. Like, yeah, dude, Gran Turismo's still using baked freaking GI lighting. So, yeah, of course they can make some stuff look a lot more artistically uh, pleasing. Gran Turismo a real simulator. Like, look at this. Look at this right here. Boom. Look at this lighting. Look at that sun, man. Look at that sunshine. That effect looks so freaking cool, man. My oh, gosh. Catch up with that guy. second gosh the way that feels when you hit like the side of the track like that just feels annoying in Gran Turismo Gran Turismo oh doggy sun glare. It just looks so cool. It's a little bit hard to take that turn with the choice controller. Why is she barking? Barking at me, coughing, man. Trying to be very See if we can catch back up.
three laps to catch that guy. hit these turns just right, you can usually pull them off and flat out in whatever gear you're at. Gosh dang it. this guy for the next lap. I quit making mistakes. We would do it. Try to drive nice throughout the rest, you know. We don't want to, we don't want to mess up. We're trying to get greedy. We'll just pass them on the time drive. Which will be any second. It's like he was committed to that. 
I saw other red lights, so we're probably not even close to first place. Third place. That was a good race. Good, good race. I like that. So, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.